This is great. I love this. Yeah, so you need to get in that line. I don't even know where the yeah. Um, Hi, everybody! Hi! Good afternoon! Uh, my name is Allie Thresher, and welcome to Storytime with Drag Kings and Queens and Friends! Yay! Awesome. Um, thank you to, so much to Somerville Public Library for having us. We have so many stories to read today. So, uh, during story time, don't feel like you have to sit still. Don't feel like you have to be quiet. If you have a question or you feel really happy and you want to make a noise, go for it. Um, and so, yeah, yeah, do it. Vincent, Vincent is showing you. You just want to, you just want to do it. So, to get started, we're gonna sing a song to kick us off, and I'll sing it once to teach you, and then we'll all sing it together. And then we'll sing it a bunch of times and get faster and faster and faster and faster until we're worked into a frenzy and ready to go. <laughs> Sound good? All right. So, it goes like this. We're gonna read some books. Yay! We're gonna see some looks. Hey! We're gonna laugh and sing and play and have an amazing day. Woo! All right. Let's... Let's go, and we'll just sing it a few times. All right. We're gonna read some books. Yay! We're gonna see some books. Hey! We're gonna laugh and sing and play and have an amazing day. Woo! Again! We're gonna read some books. Yay! We're gonna see some books. Hey! We're gonna laugh and sing and play and have an amazing day. Woo! Um, let's do it one more time. for being here. I'm going to sit down and uh, we are going to read a book that's called Worm Loves Worm. Let's see a show of hands. Who likes worms? <laughs> Who likes to play with worms? There you go. All right. So we're going to read about worms. All right. All right. Look how pretty. Okay. Worm Loves Worm. Let's be married, said Worm to Worm. Yes, answered Worm. Let's be married. Look at them all pretty and long. Anyways. <laughs> Wait, says Cricket. You'll need someone to marry you. That's how it's always been done. I will marry you. So nice, this Cricket, right? <laughs> Now, can we be married? asked Worm. Wait, said Beetle. You got to have a best Beetle. <laughs> Naturally, that would be me. Look how good that Beetle is. So good. <laughs> and now, can we be married? asked Worm. Wait, wait, wait! Yes, let's do it, let's do it. It's a buzzing around. Wait, 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 said the bees. You need bride's bees. Can we be the bride's bees? Please, please, please. It's buzzing around. Yes, says Worm. Now, can we be married? Doom, doom, doom. You'll need to get rings to wear on your fingers, says Cricket. That's how it's always been done. But we don't have fingers, said Worm. <laughs> we can wear them like belts, <laughs> says Worm. 
Wonderful, says Warm. Now, can we be married? Yes, yes, not quite. <laughs> Just make sure to have a band so we can dance. Let's dance. But we don't have feet to dance with, says Warm. We can just wiggle around, says Warm, says Beetle. So let's wiggle again. Yes. Do the worm. Fun, says Warm. Now, can we be married? Not quite. But you still need a white dress, a tuxedo, a top hat, Lots and lots of flowers and a cake with frosting, say the bees. <laughs> and glitter, I would add glitter. To that. <laughs> That's my per personal choice. <laughs> but we don't have heads for the hats, says Warm, or hands to hold flowers. And we only eat dirt, said Warm. Wait, said Spider. I can attach the hat and flowers to you with my sticky web. <laughs> Thank you, said Warm and Warm. Thank you. But who will eat the cake? As the bees. I can eat the cake along with Cricket and Beetle, said Spider. Mmm, cake. Who likes cake? Who likes vegetables? Oh, good, me too. What do you say, as Cricket and Beetle? Nothing, said Spider with a smile. <laughs> but which one of you is the bride, as the bees? How can we be bride's bees if we don't know who the bride is? Right? I can be the bride, said Warm. I can too, said Warm. Turning pages is so difficult. <laughs> but one of you has to got to be the groom. How can I be best beetle as the beetle? I can be the groom, said Warm. And I can be the groom, said Warm. <laughs> Amazing, said Spider. Really? asked the beetle. Let's ask that. Really? <laughs> Wait, said Cricket. This is not how it's always been done. <laughs> well, then we'll just change how it's done, said Warm. Yes, said Warm. <laughs> and so they were finally married. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Because what? Warm loves Warm. And then I'm gonna do like the bees and buzz around. <laughs> Thank you. Our next reader is my friend Claude Kitten. Everybody say hi, Claude Kitten. Hi. Hi. Oh, some of you know this book. I'm very excited. It is called Fancy Nancy, because no one knows fancy like Nancy. <laughs> Nancy says, I love being fancy. How many of you guys love being fancy? I can tell some of you already. Very fancy. Yes, yes. She says, I love being fancy. My favorite color is fuchsia. That's a fancy way of saying purple or pink. 
I like to write my name with a pen that has a plume. Everyone know what a plume is? Like a big feather. Oh, you do? That's a fancy way of saying feather. And I can't wait to learn French because everything in French sounds fancy. <laughs> Nobody in my family is fancy at all. They never even ask for sprinkles. <laughs> There's a lot they don't understand. Lace trimmed socks do help me play soccer better. Sandwiches definitely taste better when you stick in frilly toothpicks. A princess is supposed to keep her tiara on. What's a fancy girl to do, I ask my doll, Maribel? Her full name is Maribel Lavinia Chandelier. <laughs> then I get an idea that is stupendous. That's a fancy word for great. Maybe I can teach my family how to be fancy. I make an ad and stick it on the fridge. It says, learn to be fancy with lessons from Nancy. Start today, easy, fun, free. <laughs> Do you think you can learn to be fancy? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Good. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the family learns. Okay, she's ready for her lesson. Soon there is a knock on my door. My family saw the ad. They want to get started right away. I would. I, would, I want to learn everything Nancy can teach me. She is so fancy. The trouble is, my family doesn't own any fancy clothes. That's OK. I go find, what is that fancy word? Oh, yes. I go find some accessories. <laughs> what are accessories? Uh, Girl, the fancy stuff you wear, like a necklace or earrings or a boa or a scarf or that. Yes, exactly. Just like that. Some accessories. So Nancy dresses up her family in all of her fancy accessories and says, ooh la la, my family is posh. That's a fancy word for fancy. <laughs> my mom twirls in front of the mirror. Why don't we go somewhere fancy tonight, she says. How about dinner at the King's Crown, Dad suggests. Wow, my parents are acting fancier already. <laughs> May I escort you lovely ladies outside? The limousine is waiting. My dad is our chauffeur. That's a fancy word for driver. When we arrive at the King's Crown, everyone looks up. They probably think we are movie stars. Because they look so fancy. I am so proud of my whole family. They eat with their pinkies up. <laughs> and they call each other darling. <laughs> For dessert, let's have parfaits, my mom says. That's French for ice cream sundaes. <laughs> Amazing, my mother knows French. When our, our, when our parfaits are ready, I curtsy and say merci. Can everyone, here, can you hold this for a second? You guys know how to curtsy? Oh. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, no, no. Let's see if I, yes. Curtsy and say merci. I know. I carry the tray like a fancy waiter. Oops, I trip, I slip. The tray does a double flip. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm very nervous to turn the page. Oh no, Nancy says, I don't feel fancy anymore. Covered in parfait. <laughs> and she says, I wanna go home. Everyone say, aww. aww. <laughs> After 
I get all cleaned up, I put on my dressing gown. Those are fancy words for bathrobe. <laughs> I feel much better, and I'm finally ready for a parfait. I tell my parents, thank you for being fancy tonight. I love you, my dad says. I love you, my mom says. And all I say back is, I love you. Because there isn't a fancy or better way of saying that. Merci. and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled very high along the street to make a path for walking. Has anyone seen big snow piles around? <laughs> yeah. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Do you ever make patterns in the snow with your feet? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Some of you have read this before. Yeah. <laughs> no, so you got it right. I haven't read it. <laughs> it was a stick. Ah! Good job. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow. Plop on top of Peter's head. Has that ever happened to you? Snow falls right on top of us. <laughs> he thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman. Have you ever made a snowman before? Yeah! yeah. Are you a really big one? No! Small one? Yeah. <laughs> and he made snow angels. Have you ever made snow angels before? Yeah! Yeah! It's a lot of fun. Yeah. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. Have you gone sledding before? Yeah. 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 I'm going up yeah. ramps. I'm going up ramps. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. I wonder what's going to happen to the snowball. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. You, you know it? I know it, I know it. You knew it too? I it. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. 
But then he woke up. But then he woke up. His dream was gone, and the snow was everywhere. New snow. Snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. And that is the end of the book. <laughs> Do you guys do? Want, do you want to read your special book all together? Do you want? Should, is that what we should do? Do our last? Let's let's do or that. And then one. I think some of the kids want to ask you guys questions. If that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Sure. All right. So ready to do this together? Yeah. yeah. I'll I'll handle the book and then you guys. Yeah. Just go for sure. Are you guys ready no. for no. one more story? Yeah. 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 I don't think that was loud okay. enough. Yeah. Are you ready yeah. for yeah. one yeah. more yeah. story? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's a fancy way of saying yes. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> yeah. We're going to read this last book. It's called It's Okay to Be Different. I do. It's okay to be missing a tooth or two. Or three. I've been missing like more than um eight. It's okay to need some help. It's okay to have a different nose. I do not have a long nose. It's okay to be a different color. And it's okay to have no hair. <laughs> It's okay to have big ears. It's okay to have wheels. It's okay to be small, medium, large, extra large. <laughs> it's okay to wear glasses. It's okay to talk about your feelings. Exactly. That lion saying, I feel like I want to roar. Can you guys all roar? It's okay to eat macaroni and cheese in the tub. <laughs> I never, ever, ever, ever it's okay to say no to bad things. It's okay to come from a different place. It's okay to be embarrassed. JP, are you ever embarrassed? Uh, sometimes, and that is okay. <laughs> it's okay to come in last. And it's okay to dance by yourself. Yeah. By ourselves. By ourselves. Okay, I'm not looking. I'm closing my eyes. <laughs> <clears throat> it's okay to have a pet worm. <laughs> like or two. <laughs> or three. <laughs> or five. <laughs> yes. It's okay to be proud of yourself. <laughs> it's okay to have different moms. It's not okay. It's okay to have different dads. It's not okay to have different dads. It's okay to be adopted. It's not okay to be adopted. It's okay to have an invisible friend. I would love to have an invisible friend. I'm wearing no clothes, so I'll totally be invisible. <laughs> It's okay to do something nice for someone. It's okay 
to lose your mittens. And it's okay to get mad. That is a mad looking skunk. It's okay to do something nice for yourself. Look at how many scoops of ice cream those are. That is so many scoops. That's a lot of scoops. I got that many. It's okay to help a squirrel collect nuts. It's okay. <laughs> I'm so glad I know that. Okay. It's okay to have different type of friends. And it's okay to make a wish. How about, how about everyone? I'm gonna close, close your eyes right now and make a wish, just to yourself. I wish I weren't I wish I had one. I wish I had ice cream. I wish I had a Lego set and I wish I had Let's all say this together. All right. yes. I wish I had it's, it's okay, okay to be different. different. You are special and important just because of being who you are. I chose some of the books because I went to uh, my local librarian and said, I want some books for this event. I need stories about being fancy, um, about um, dressing up, about... Um, loving yourself, um, and about it's okay to be different, that kind of stuff. And my librarian gave me a big stack of books and said, take all of these, this is what you need. So that's how I picked out some books. Um, I have some books at home that I didn't bring today, but that we've read before that are really fun that I just like to read and yeah, make me feel good. I like worms. Yeah. <laughs> we have another question way back here. It took me about like 20 minutes to 20 hours. I'm gonna put it that way. Oh, you look so nice today. Can everybody pat themselves on the back? And then give yourself a hug just for being If you would like to take pictures with our readers, you absolutely can. We will figure out a line as, as we go in and out. But thank you all for coming, everybody. Give yourselves a big round of applause.